but I thought I would show you guys my outfit of the night. This is also a haul preview because I did quite a lot of shopping, just a little bit of shopping today. Um, I had a very su successful run in the sales. Um, this dress is from Ted Baker, brand new. I really love it. It's a fit and flare style. It's got really sunset-y floral um, colors and patterns in it. Um, really big right now. Floral patterns are everywhere, all over the high street here, and it is so exciting because I love florals. Um, and this dress especially caught my eye because I love the colors and I love the style, so it really was um, for me. So it's a kind of funny material. It's kind of like a light neoprene. Neoprene was huge last year. This one is a little bit thinner though, which I like. It doesn't feel quite as wetsuit-like, um, but it still has that same stretch and it's also kind of wrinkle-free and it lies really nice and flat on the body as well. Um, it's nicely tailored up here around the shoulders. It's got a really pretty um, large exposed zip at the back. And then yeah, these really big pretty sunset colored blooms paired with my Chanel chevron flap, an old cardigan from Banana Republic with gold buttons. This is just what I had lying around so it's in case I get cold. And then I also have some new shoes on. Um, so these are from LK Bennett. They're really pretty. They have a kind of leather lace effect um, going up. They're kind of a T-strap type design um, with a strap going up the back and they're a medium heel, perfect for summer, in a kind of dark chocolate brown color, which I think is a little bit softer and younger than black for summer. So I really like them. Super comfortable, very easy summer evening sandal. And that's my outfit for the night. Hey everyone, so I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me because it's kind of going to be loud in here, not too bad, but anyway, we are, we're at the newly reopened Husky Blanc, so I'll show you the sign in a second so you can read it if you can't hear me, um, but they're having a half-off offer, so it's kind of amazing, we got some free bubbly to start with, um, which is good because we all like a good deal, and we have some steaks coming, it's like going to be a great, delicious French meal, I feel like. Um, so here's the name, Husky Blanc, right here in the center of Bath, and I'll show you their new renovated room, because um, I think they did a great job, obviously, since I haven't been back in England for years. Hello! Are we making a toast? Let's make a toast. <laughs> Cheers to being back in England. I <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to your mother country. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, that that wine is really good. That is really really good. Okay, I'll show you the wine then. Chateau Aurigny. Okay, it's a Bordeaux. It's really good. It's really mellow. And here. Oh, it's a blend? It's a blend. Yeah. Borders have to be. Yeah. Um, so the room is really nice. It's like a soft, dark gray. Here's a peek at my boyfriend's shoulder. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just a really nice, classic French type of restaurant. And the staff is super friendly. So I would highly recommend coming here, I think. But I will let you know once I've eaten. So here's my first course. I got scallops. These are called queen scallops. They're from Scotland, apparently. I don't feel like I've ever had Scottish scallops before. And they're done in a kind of tomato gratin. I like that they're on the shell. I think it looks really nice. It looks nicely. Chris got a salad with a little bit of everything. Neil got a charcuterie plate. <laughs> You're on camera. Uh, aww. This is mine. So we have steak frites, Chateaubriand with frites, <laughs> bœuf bourguignon for Monsieur, Monsieur Chris. Ah yes, thank you. And then you'll of course also has a Chateaubriand. For the best. Yeah, it's so good. The scallops were amazing balls. Good morning everyone. So it's now our last day in Bath, which is super sad. We're pretty much just standing outside the apartment waiting for everyone else because I am the first one ready. Everyone else is still scrambling for their stuff, but super exciting day because we are actually going to go to the Roman baths today and or like the um, mineral baths and apparently it's been completely renovated and I've never been to anything like it. So. I'm looking forward to that. However, I did not pack a bikini, so I have to go buy one. 
and we're gonna go for breakfast as well so that's the start of my day um, which will get started shortly and I will take you guys with me everywhere except for the bass probably because I doubt that filming other people in their bikinis is allowed so um, yeah but I will film as much as I can and just enjoy the last day in Bath because after that we're driving back to the country house in Charmouth um, so it'll be kind of a more quiet couple of days after this but that's okay because I figured I could use that time to film some hauls and just kind of get caught up on things like um, blog posts and so forth so it'll be good. Well, uh, so you're famous. Cool, yes. You're a famous blogger. A oh, vlogger is it? Vlogger. Hey okay, everyone, so we're back under the pretty lights. I'm a little more frizzy hair than earlier because we went to the bath and it was wonderful. Or the spa. Are you waving to my mom or just okay? Apparently my Um and now I really want a coffee and we're just kind of hunting for a coffee place. I'm um, just kind of walking around, chilling out for the rest of the afternoon. I think Chris is going to do some work and I'm probably going to go to the museum with my mom and Neil. So, um, yeah, I think they walked off. My mom's totally doing the boots thing I did earlier, getting like all the UK makeup, um, but she's doing it today. It's a little bit later. And she texted me and I recommended the bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation to her, because it's my favorite, the Healthy Mix Zero Foundation. Um, so where are we going, Chris? Coffee shop. Which one? I'm not sure. Okay. We'll find one. It will happen. <laughs> um, so this is all the new development again, like I showed you guys yesterday. This is where we are now. Just getting tickets. This is actually an exhibition of dollhouses that's temporary here upstairs. This one's from 1800. It's until November. Yeah, in case you happen to visit Bath. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at the Baldican bed. It's lovely. This one's quite ornate. So, did you guys know that actually dollhouses were for adults rather than children? Around the 1800s, um, they were for the enjoyment of adults, that's what it says. <laughs> so I haven't quite decided who's getting what, although my friend Tali and I were joking about Mr. Darcy, so I think she will be getting the handsome gentleman. But I think these are so cute, I got them from the gift shop. Basically, gift shopping is finished. Um, so in the middle in the white dress is Elizabeth Bennett and then the blue dress is Jane Austen supposedly so I think that's really quite cute. And he would put a coin in the side slot, wind it up obviously, put a coin in the side slot and then the bird would tweet. And um, you know that was quite fascinating for people at that time. It, it does still go but we don't um, we don't demonstrate it because it's so old and rather fragile. Old number one. Royal Crescent and it's basically a preserved museum and everything is supposed to be just like it was when people actually lived here so I know my mom was excited about that because she's actually on the board of a similar um, historical house in Victoria that I took you guys to a very long time ago called Point Ellis House um, so yeah it's always fun to see different ones in different countries Hey everyone, so I thought I would go ahead and end the bath vlog here because this is called Henrietta Gardens and I came here once years ago right after getting my first year Durham Law results. I was so stressed you guys, I really thought I'd failed but I didn't, I actually did pretty well. Um, and yeah, it's like this weird period of three weeks where you wait for your results and kind of catch up on sleep but still you're stressed, waiting, waiting to know what your results are. Then I got my results and I came straight down here in the train um, to wait for my mom and stepfather because they were actually coming back from honeymoon then. So yeah, just kind of weird period of my life long time ago and I remember I came here with a picnic blanket and just kind of I think I'm pretty sure I slept here for a while during the day it was like a sunny beautiful day and I just remember it being so pretty so I asked to come back here um so yeah apparently Jane Austen used to come here there's a lot of Jane Austen connections in Bath um so yeah it's quite pretty very overcast right now though 